What's up, E? It's Vlogmas. Day nine. Hey, baby. Elvis and Priscilla are on the table. Oh, baby. I can't wait till Christmas. Okay, I've been listening to Taylor Swift like... Every song on Midnight's, I just repeat and repeat all night long. All right, me and Mariah and Donovan and the kids are going to our cousin Dan and Katie's tonight um, for our Christmas celebration. We're just having hors d'oeuvres and staying the night, watching Christmas movies, playing games, you know, festivities. And I made these tortilla roll-ups. There's turkey, cream cheese, mayonnaise, and cranberries in it, and like some seasonings, and a spinach wrap. So I hope they're good. They are. I tried them. Okay, so just for full disclosure, I have not read in several days, and tonight we're going to my cousin's house, so I'm not going to read tonight, and then tomorrow we're getting back, like, in the afternoon, late, I don't know, so I might not read tomorrow, so I don't think the 100 books this year is going to happen, <sighs> but that's okay, because I read, like, 80-some books, so that's still a great goal, or a great accomplishment. My beard hair is weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm excited about going to Dan and Katie's. Oops, I probably shouldn't say their names. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm excited about going because we haven't gone in a few years. My dad isn't going, thank God. Uh, as long as he doesn't show up, I will be happy and merry. Um, we don't talk to our dad because he's toxic. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I haven't read in the past few days and I kind of feel bad about that, but like, why should I feel bad? I don't know. Elvis is hogging Delilah's bed. Oh my gosh, Delilah, are you upset? Keep playing these. Gonna try to pick up writing in my gratitude journal every day again. Um, I feel like it really helped change my life and there's no reason to not keep that momentum going to start over. Stay positive no matter what. Okay, so I think my new um, affirmation that I will be putting in my gratitude journal and just like saying to myself every day and stuff is I live a soft life. Because... Really, I do. Um, and I know that's, like, gonna bother some people because they don't like, like, everybody should have a hard life or whatever. And I just don't believe in that. I think that I have a soft life right now and I want to continue having a soft life and I want it to get softer. Not saying it wasn't, it's not always been this way. My situation is very unique to me in this time and place. But, um... I've gone through a lot of hardships to get to where I am, and it hasn't been easy. It's been really, really rough. Um, so the fact that now I live a level of softness in my life is really such a great blessing, and I've earned it. I don't care. <laughs> um, but um, I definitely want my life to be soft. I definitely want a husband that loves me no matter what. Like, I want a husband that's, like, mildly obsessed and, like, in love with me no matter what. And obviously, I have so much love to give. I have such a big heart that it's not... Go like, if I get feelings of love thrown towards me, I'm obviously going to reciprocate that, like, tenfold. So, I'm not... Re like, and I'm so open to, like, what my husband looks like, what his job is, stuff like that, that I'm just like, okay, well... Universe. Tick, tick. Why ain't he here? But whatever. It'll come when it comes. But I also wanted to show the back. I am absolutely cherished. That is a, um affirmation that I wanted to put on the back of this just because um, I feel like I really have some low self-worth issues. And 
if I can affirm to myself that I am absolutely cherished, that will manifest and I will become absolutely cherished. And I already know I'm absolutely cherished by my friends and family. Um, but yeah, my friend Taylor told me that the reason I haven't found a man yet is because I'm a really special person and it takes somebody like really unique and special to love somebody the way I need to be loved. And I really appreciated that because it is so hard being single and it's just like, it's so hard waiting and like, I've never had a boyfriend before. So it's just getting really old, like being single and lonely, but, um, yeah, I can see that, like, see how, like, somebody has to be really special to want to date me and stuff like that. So, I'm willing to wait. I will wait forever if I have to. Um, but yeah, just wanted to express my feelings. Okay, so I'm all red from my shower being so hot. I like a hot shower. Um, but um, I'm all showered and ready to go to Lake Winnebago. Um, that's in Missouri and it's a long way away and I'm driving and I'm nervous. I hate driving through Kansas City. <laughs> oh, I want somebody else to drive. Um, but I forgot to shave. So I think I've been thinking about this. I'm thinking about growing out my beard, like just all of it to like wildness like I did last year, but now I have beard shampoo and beard conditioner, so it should look a little more maintained than it did, but I don't know, just something to think about for me. Definitely got to wear my glasses today since I'm driving. It's Vlogmas day. 10 was yesterday. Skip today. 11. Woo! I'm taking all of my pills, I'm taking all of my pills. If I take these pills, then maybe we can chill. What's up, E? Hello there today. So, um, I will show you later, but we decorated the tree today. And um, I have just been hanging out, listening to some new music that I have um, discovered through a friend. So, thank you for sending me new music, friend. Um, and... I am just sitting in my room right now. I need to read really bad. I haven't read in like a long time. Um, but I'm just so giggly and happy that I just don't really feel like reading. And that's not good. Um, but I probably will read this afternoon or something, maybe. Um, but anyway, we went to my cousin Dan and Katie's house. Uh, like I said, I probably shouldn't say their names, but oh well. I don't. I'm not telling you their last name, so it should be fine. Um, but we went to Dan and Katie's to celebrate Christmas, and my cousin Sarah was there and her kids, and we had a grand old time. We haven't seen each other since 2019 before the pandemic, so I'm, like, super excited that um, we were able to get together and have Christmas, and we want to see each other more, and it just feels good to be reunited with family. Family's important, so I'm so glad we did that. And yeah, uh, I'll show you the tree a little bit later. Lit some incense. I got this incense from the Renaissance Festival and it's literally like my favorite thing on earth. All right, we got the tree all, or uh, not organized, <laughs> decorated and it's all lit up and beautiful. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Dilly's over here by the door. She's really dark, you can't see her. Dilly. Okay, ladies, ask your man if he would still love you if you were a worm. If he says that's a stupid question or he wouldn't love you if you were a worm, no, that's not okay. I would cry if I asked my man if he, or if I asked my man, if I were a worm, <laughs> if he would still love me, I would cry if he said no. Because if I was a worm, I couldn't help that I was a worm. Like, you should still love me if I'm a worm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the peanut gallery over here is laughing at me.
All right, I got my twinkle lights on. I'm in bed. Um, it's about to be midnight. So anyways, um, posting this vlog tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could please. And have yourself a merry little Christmas. Peaceies.